would you start with a conclusion? No, don't don't do this. All right, what what you're? This is all. This is correct. Yes, but it is not the answer to the question. Pl please read the task carefully. Okay. Ugh, God, it's the end of the year. What do I do with my students? I want to have a mind-blowing lesson. We have collected some ideas for your final lesson with your students. Board race. It's a great activity to revise the vocabulary or grammar you have covered this year. Split the children in two teams, set the topic, or you can ask students to choose a card with the topic for each team. For example, food or different forms of comparative adjectives. I am a real hero. I even have my own superhero team. Draw a line in the middle of the board and write the topic. Organize students in two lines and set the timer. One, two, three, start! Have them run to the board in turn and write the words on the topic. The team that has more unique words is the winner. Call my bluff or two truths, one lie. See how well the learners know you and each other. Who are you? Model the example. Say or write three sentences about yourself. Two are true and one is not. For example, I have 20 pairs of sneakers. I graduated from American high school and my dad is a football player. Have students guess which one is a lie. Do you like school? Yeah. Do you like school? No. No. Uh, the first student to guess gets a point. Create a leaderboard. The kid who guesses the most liars is the winner. And the Oscar goes to... Create nominations for each child. They cannot be repeated, obviously, and must be funny. For example, Miss Smile or Mr. Series or All Games Winner, and so on. You can even make awards. It could be anything. Pictures, toys, souvenirs that stand for these nominations. Organize a ceremony and hand out awards. One of the students can even be a host of such a ceremony. So, good luck. <laughs> Do you remember? Take a big piece of paper, A1. Put it on the floor and have each child draw or write anything they remember from the lessons. Words, funny stories, songs, games, rules, anything. Then put those pieces of paper on the wall and have other kids guess what uh, the others have drawn. Ten, ten things. Prepare cards for each team. On each card write ten different tasks. For example, number 10 is food words, number 9 action verbs, number 8 songs, number 7 names, and so on. Split the children in teams and have them prepare. When they're done, say the number. Team 1 says the words, uh, let's say apple, pear, banana. Team 2 has to guess the topic, fruit. And then they take turns and say the words from those topics. The team that has guessed more topics is the winner. The next activity is song time! Oh my god, that was close. If you have had many songs, chants, and other musical things during the year, play this amusing game. One team sings a melody of the song without the lyrics. The other team has to guess the song. Well, pretty easy. And I like it. Another version of this game. Why? One team starts singing any song, then they clap, and another team continues it. Like, keeps on going. Back to the future. This is a tradition you can keep up every year. Have kids write letters or draw pictures of the best things happened to them in your lesson. What they have achieved, what they have learned, what they can do in English and their wishes for the next year. Make a safe box and put all the letters and pictures inside. Open it in a year and have them share and see whether their expectations are fulfilled and wishes have come true. Вот это капсула времени. Какая капсула времени? А теперь надеваем колпаки воображения. И пусть каждый из вас нарисует картину, как по-вашему будет выглядеть будущее. 
board games. There are so many great and ready-made board games in English, like Alias, Scrabble, Taboo, Scategories, Apples to Apples, without Steve Jobs, Boggle, Bananagrams, Buzzword, and lots more. You can revise grammar, vocabulary, spelling, pronunciation, or just have fun with your students, but in English. If you cannot order or buy these games, you can create your own games. Below is the link to some websites you can use for both offline and online classes. Handmade t-shirts. You need white t-shirts for the number of your learners. Markers and paints. You can put them on the wall or on the desks. Students go around the class and draw or write wishes for everyone. It's a great project and everyone will have something to remember. And a new t-shirt, which is a win-win situation. There are more ideas on SkyTeach blog. The link to the article is below the video. And this is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to have an amazing last lesson. And if you're not ready to finish working and would go three or more months, even though your school is closed, join our team of SkyAng teachers and teach online from any part of the world and to all kinds of students. So join us and um, I will see you later. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen.